Something that can be quite hard to get used to with video conferencing is this business of asking a response question. That is a question that is based on what you've heard and helps the person speaking to go deeper into what they're explaining. I'm going to let Jody explain the idea. Sometimes we come to these video conferences and we kind of already have an idea of the questions we want to ask and the things that we want to talk about. And sometimes when somebody shares something, we don't really respond or ask a follow-up question based on what we've just heard. We go straight to the question that, that we wanted to ask instead of really trying to build on what has been said and to further dis the discussion in that direction. So I'd encourage you to, to have patience with the questions that you have and try really hard to be really good listeners and active listeners and to, to ask follow-up questions based on what you have heard. So let's think a little bit about how we might actually do that. What are the words we might want to use to construct those questions? When asking questions, we know there are a number of really useful words that will help us. What, when, where, which, how. They all help us to get more information. The best one, the most important one, is why. Now, why is the king of the question words as far as response questions are concerned. And we're just going to spend a little bit of time now thinking about why that's the case. I'm going to explain this using the idea of a Christmas tree, which is something that even students who don't come from countries that are broadly Christian will have heard of and will want to have questions about. So when they hear a student mention it in the context of Christmas, they might ask some questions. So they might say, well, what is a Christmas tree? Um, when do you decorate it? When do you get involved with Christmas trees? Where do you put your Christmas tree? Is it inside the house? Is it outside the house? Which kind of tree do you use? Or even, how do you decorate it? Now, none of those questions, interesting though they may be, really take us deeper. They're all good questions, but they will give us more information, not deeper information. Let's look at why, the king of the question words. So, we might then ask, why do you decorate a Christmas tree? Why is it important for you? Why is it significant for your family? Those kinds of questions drill down into the experience. They give us much more detail. They give us a lot of personal insight. That's why, why is the king of the question words for response questions. Okay, well let's see how we can put that into practice. We're going to watch a short segment of a student talking about a festival and then we're going to spend a little bit of time thinking about how we might dig down into that using response questions. Hi, my name is Udbhav. Uh, I would like to talk about the festival of Dashera. Uh, it's uh, celebrated because after defeating Ravan, um, uh, it's celebrated in the um, uh, because uh, uh, Ram, uh, God Ram, uh, uh, defeated Ravan uh, uh, um, in the war that which happened at Lanka, uh, and in my house, uh, the Shera is celebrated uh, in a very special way. Uh, in the morning, there is a big puja held in which uh, everyone present take part. Okay, so we've heard quite a few really useful terms there that give us hooks for generating our next round of response questions. So, Dushara, Ravan, God Ram, the War at Lanka, Puja. Those are all terms that may not be familiar to your students, which give us a fantastic way into asking our response question. So let's consider how we're going to use our question words to explore one of those ideas. So let's take Puja. And when we say, um, what is a puja? That's a great question, because if your students don't know what a puja is, that's the logical thing to do. And that will get us some really good description. But if we then say, why is a puja important to you? Or why is it important for you and your family to take part in this puja? We then get to a much deeper level. And the deeper personal level is where we want to be. Now at this point, I'm going to hand over to you, see what you would want to ask. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of students talking about things, talking about things that are so familiar to them that they don't think there's any point in explaining or going deeper themselves. So we have to ask the questions to prompt them. 
What are the questions that you or your students would want to ask? And more to the point, what are the why questions that would really dig down into the kind of personal ideas that really make a difference? Practicing this before a video conference can make a huge difference. Darian, I'm a Muslim from uh, SMP Lab School Chibobor. Other Islamic festivals that uh, Islam celebrates is the Eid ul Adha. Uh, in the Eid ul Adha, it it revolves on sacrificing buffalo, cow, camel, or goat meat, and we donate one third of it to poor people, one third of it to our family and relatives, and the other one third for us. Uh, it starts on the 10th of Zulhijjah, Zulhijjah Zul being the last, the, the 12th and the last uh, year of the month, month of the Hijriah calendar, until from 10th until the 13th of Zulhijjah. In Idul Adha, I usually visit my relatives and buy some cattle. To sacrifice and share the meat. Thank you. So we've actually just heard a really good detailed description of idolata. What could we ask to go more deeply? Well, we could ask some questions about why it's practiced, the kinds of things that it's remembering. But remember, the why questions, why is it important to you? Why is it important to your family and your community? Those things are the things that enable us to go really deep. Let's have another practice looking at what these students are saying. And we, um, we go to chapel on Thursdays and as an Episcopal church. And so, but we also accept all religions at our school. And I think that um, I really like it because we can be more educated about other religions. Thank you. We also this year did a unit over world religions and we got to visit all of the places where the religions are in and we did a whole test and it was very fun and interesting what, what our, everybody else's religions were like. So to sum up, when we're asking response questions, all response questions are good because they're built on what we're already hearing. But the best ones are the ones that help us to go de deeper. So remember that why is the king of the response questions. It's the one that enables us to drill down into personal experience and find out the kinds of things that we'd never find out from a book or a video. And the kinds of questions that make a video conference really worthwhile.